Well, can you make the voice to be laughing in Eleven Labs? Well, the answer is yes, you can. And sometimes you can even make the laugh to be authentic and has some genuine human emotion, which is really good. But the settings or the way to achieve that really depends on the model that you are using. So let me show you some of the best practices to make the voice to be loving in Eleven Labs depending on the model that you are using. So let's start with the model called Eleven Multilingual Version 2. This is very popular, very affordable, and some people are quite comfortable using this model, at least for now. Now, for this test, I'll try to use this simple script. That was so funny, I'm laughing so hard. Ha ha ha. Now you have to include the word like ha 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 or maybe ho 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 or he he something like that into the script. It is very important. And also for the voice, there is no guarantee that the voice is going to give you the laugh, the genuine laugh. Because some models, or sorry, not models, some characters, some voices are more expressive than others. So just read at the description and see whether the voice is actually more calm or more expressive. Now for this example, I'll try to use Adam. He's the OG and quite versatile. And I'm going to be using just the default setting. Although some recommends to actually set the stability to be a bit lower than uh, 50%, but I'm going to be using just the default setting just to give you a quick demonstration. Now, when you're done, you can click regenerate speech or generate speech if you're doing this for the first time. And just wait for the result in just a few seconds. That was so funny. I'm laughing so hard. Ha ha ha. Okay, it's a bit too fast. So I'm going to reduce the speed to around 95 and reduce the stability to around 40. Let's try it again. That was so funny. I'm laughing so hard. Ha 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 ha. Okay, that's definitely a bit better. So the key here is actually to adjust the speed but, uh, and also adjust the stability and usually you want to set a number to be around 30% to 40%. That's my recommendation, but feel free to use different values. Anyway, that's just one example. You can also add a quotation mark like this in the laughing section, or you can uh, make the characters to be capitalized like this one. So it actually will give more emphasis, give more emotion into that section. But that's usually the, the last resort if the previous method doesn't work. Now, I mentioned that this capability really depends on what voice that you're using because some voices are not very good when it comes to making the character to be laughing. So let me try using Jessica and you'll see that even with this uh, extra emphasis, it's not going to be as good as Adam. Let me try it. That was so okay. funny. I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> so it's not as good as Adam because Jessica is not as expressive and it's not designed for uh, having genuine laugh like Adam. So if that was the case, then how do you make any character, any voice to be laughing with genuine emotion? Well, for that, I highly recommend to switch to Eleven version 3. That is the latest model from Eleven Labs and it does support more genuine and authentic human emotion. So I'm not going to be changing anything here. I'll just use this, the exact same setting, actually the same script. And uh, about setting, there's only one variable, which is the stability. So I would say this model is a lot simpler to use than version, true, version 2. Sorry about that. But remember, it is still experimental. It is still very early and you will see some strange behavior along the way. But when it works, it worked really well. So let me generate speech using this model. It will take a bit longer because the model is bigger, but it will generate two versions. That was so funny. I am laughing so hard. Ha! Okay, that was awful. That was so funny. I'm laughing so hard. Ha ha ha. So there is one thing here that you know about version 3. It just introduced a feature called tag and essentially you can tell AI how it should sound or how what emotion that should happen in the script. Let me give you one example. So here uh, I'm going to make emotion like I'm going to create a square bracket like this. And here inside of the square bracket, you can write a description like 
laughing or maybe chuckling something like that so let's write laughing so here if you put the pack right here uh, that means this section actually i have to remove the quotation mark it's not necessary anymore this section is becoming the laugh but if you put the the tag at the beginning then it's going to do the laughing at the beginning so it's very important to know the positioning of the tag you have to put it strategically based on where and when it should laugh so let me just put it again here and click generate speech well it's going to take a bit longer but hopefully it's going to be better that was so funny i'm laughing so hard <laughs> So definitely that's, that was much better. That was better. so funny. I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> okay, that's what, that was way longer, but I, I would say objectively, version 3 is much better than version 2. Even with this basic addition, you can make the expression more human, more genuine, more authentic. And by the way, you can also add multiple tags into your script. Like for example, I could add something like chuckling at the beginning. And it's kind of giving the impression that this person is about to laugh. So it's going to sound more natural and more human, basically. <laughs> that was so funny, I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> that was so funny, I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely better. Although, again, I, as I have mentioned, this is still very early. It's the alpha version and you will see some strange results. But sometimes, or I would say most of the times, it's going to give you very, very good results compared to version 2. And so that's basically how you can create or how, how you can make the voice to be laughing with genuine emotion in 11 Labs. Again, the key here is using 11 version 3, not version 2. And I'm hoping that this model is going to get better and more consistent at making the character or the voice to be laughing. So that's basically it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Have a great day.